Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333862 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be talking about 25th and 26th september current affairs the session will be very important so do pay attention till the end also friends yesterday i gave you some homework questions so here are all the correct answers avantika sharma has given all the correct answers and i'm watching that avantika sharma is also a very regular student who is commenting homework questions for a long time so congratulations avantika and best of luck for your preparations with the dedication and the hard work that you are showing i really hope that you clear your exam for whichever you are preparing for so best of luck for your preparation and if you need any assistance or any guidance you can just call us or mail us on the number provided to you so friends let's start all right first we'll go through the one-liners then we'll go for the news First is Haryana's Chief Minister Manoharlal Khatterji has launched Haryana Kushal Rojgar Nigam portal. Portal that means it is a website. And we know for Haryana what are the schemes? Chara Bijai Yojana, Mukhya Mantri uh, Bima, uh, Mukhya Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana that was an insurance scheme for the crops for the farmers. Then there was E Adigam that was E Adigam. What was the scheme that laptop uh, tablets will be provided? to the school going students for 10th, 11th and 12th class. So these are the some scheme of Haryana. All right. Then if we talk about Gujarat, they launched a portal to monitor benefits of state health schemes in Gujarat. Also various schemes like GIF city, then first steel slag rod in Gujarat, Surat, then the global uh, center for traditional medicines. It is also being opened in Gujarat only in Jamnagar with the help of WHO. Then we will be seeing the 36th edition of the national games here in Andamad, Gujarat all itself. All right. So these are some related to Gujarat. Then we know that it was the first state that adopted the semiconductor policy. It was your Gujarat. And we know that uh, semiconductors will be now manufactured in the state of Gujarat itself. And which two organizations signed an MOU for this? It was Foxconn and Vedanta. Then Telangana topped the implementation of the Shama Prasad Mukherjee, our, our urban mission. PM Modi inaugurated the Bina MP Punky of UP multi project, multi product pipeline project, and Kanpur Metro Rail project in Kanpur UP. ARIA rankings for 2021 was released in which IIT Madras has topped under the Institute of National Importance category. Remember this. Then Maharashtra government passed Shakti Criminals Law Act. Also, if you remember, Maharashtra was the state that provided 
और दे लॉन्च द स्कीम टू प्रोवाइड पर्सनल लोन्स पर्सनल लोन्स टू द प्रिजनर्स दे कैन अवेल अ मैक्सिमम ऑफ अप टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर द लोन्स फॉर द एजुकेशन एंड द मेडिकल फैसिलिटीज फॉर देर फैमिली नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज विच इज द फर्स्ट ई कॉमर्स कंपनी टू सेटअप सोलर फॉर्म्स इन इंडिया फर्स्ट ई कॉमर्स कंपनी इट वॉज योर एमेजॉन I repeat, the first e-commerce company to set up solar farms in India is your Amazon. All right, Amazon announces first solar project in India with three new solar farms, and there will be in Rajasthan with a total energy capacity of 420 megawatts. Amazon aims to use 100% renewable energy across its business by the year 2025, and the Indian project includes a 210 megawatt project to be developed by Renew Power. All right. Renew power. Next, next question is: Defence Ministry recently signed a deal for the dual role surface-to-surface -surface BrahMos missile with which company? First of all, you should know BrahMos. BrahMos is a joint venture between. Uh, for this, it is a joint venture between India and Russia. These two uh, countries together developed this BrahMos. Now the question is: They have signed a deal for the dual sur role surface-to-surface -surface BrahMos missile with which company? And we did this question. It was your B A P L. That is your BrahMos Aerospace Private Limited. Important mark this. All right. And here, remember, this uh, BrahMos missile will be acquired at. Seventeen hundred crore rupees under by Indian category. All right, and just and again B A P L. This is a joint venture between India and Russia. Next, which state is the host of the National Conference of Environment Ministries? Which state is the host of the National Conference of Environment Ministers? Tell me. It was your Gujarat. Sao Jao Festival. It is celebrated in Goa. All right, and in Goa only National Museum for Customs and G S T is also located. All right, for Kerala, what are the questions we discuss? That they have their own internet service provider. They have their own OTT platform by the name C Space. OTT is your over-the-top platform. Then in Kerala only, it is your Shelly application that is a health and wellness application. Next, which is the most richly endowed award in science in the world? I repeat, which is the most richly endowed award in science in the world? It is your Breakthrough. Prize. All right. This award was created in the year two thousand ten by a group of Silicon Valley entrepreneurs, including a venture capitalist Mark Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chen of Facebook and Synergy Brain of Google. They together launched or they together formed this prize that is or award that is Breakthrough Prize. Also remember the twenty twenty three winners of the Breakthrough Prizes are also known as the Oscars of. Science were announced recently in the life science category. All right, one for mathematics and one for physics. Also, the winners will split a total amount of fifteen million US dollar among themselves. All right, so the most richly endowed award in science in the world is Breakthrough Prize. Fifth question: Which is the first Indian bank to get Reserve Bank of India approval for rupee trade? It was your. Yuko Bank, highly important Indian sector, Indian public sector bank. Yuko Bank is the first bank to receive the Reserve Bank of India's approval for rupee trade. Highly important. One more thing, friends, that I need to tell you regarding the content that we provide you. Say, for example, we are providing you pocket-wise PDF. We are providing you topic-wise current affairs. We are providing you weekly current affairs. We are providing you monthly current affairs PDF, also top hundred questions PDF. So remember, pocket wise, ah, uh, pocket PDF and your topic wise PDF. They will be released on the seventh of every month. All right, on the seventh. Then weekly, they are provided to you every seven days. All right, we make sure that every seven days you are provided with weekly current affairs. For monthly and top hundred questions, remember on tenth of every month. Or before the tenth of every month, you will be provided with the monthly current affairs PDF. All right, friends. The important thing that I want to mention here is that we provide content in English as well as in Hindi to all the students who are looking for the content of PDF in Hindi. Because I have seen many times the students are asking for Hindi PDF, the content in Hindi. So students. For those students, those who are looking for Hindi content, you can check our Careers Cloud application. From where you can download the uh, from the Google Store, you can download the app, and from 
that particular application careers cloud application you will be able to see various courses that are offered by us and in those courses we offer you hindi pdf along with english content also all right so the students those who are aiming for hindi content they can definitely check our hindi pdfs also that are provided on the courses that are offered by us on our careers cloud application and another information to all our students and viewers that remember friends when you are preparing for ibps rrb you need to understand that our content that we provide you on our application you will be seeing various different kinds of PD, pdfs that will be very beneficial for you for the preparation of this particular exam the content that is provided by us is up to the mark it is top notch content all right when you will be going through the content not just that content if you are also watching our videos and you are then going for the revision in our careers cloud application then you will realize that the process of learning that you are going through first you are watching the video then you are making notes then after that you are going for attempting the quiz also you are reading the pdf that we are providing so this whole process this whole journey will be very beneficial for you and along with the current affairs along with the questions that we are providing for ibps exam are very beneficial to all the students so i'll highly recommend to go and check this exam pdf that will be very 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 beneficial to all the students and i assure you that the material that is provided there is top notch now friends let's come to the current affairs for today all right first of all first news that we are discussing is a scheme for special assistance to states for the capital investments for 2022 to 2023 Three. That means recently, remember, government of India has launched a special scheme for special assistance to the states for capital investment. That means for the development, we know when there will be supply of money to any particular region, then only that particular region will be developed. When entrepreneurs will be showing interest in them, when industries will be coming there, when entrepreneurs will be making companies, making industries, making products, big big companies will be coming there. Then only we will be able to see a growth in a particular area. All right. so remember a special for, uh, scheme for special assistance to states for capital investment for the year 2022 to 2023 has been launched under which the state governments will get a financial assistance in the form of 50 year interest free loan for capital investment project that means it will be a 50 years interest free that means they don't have to pay interest for 50 years all right and this the government has allocated 3000 crore rupees for part five that is for optical cable what is optical cable optical cable basically this is a science question also that optic in optical fiber uh, cable or optical fiber what type of technology or what principle is used so total internet refraction is used in optical cables and this is used for high speed internet this is used for high speed internet the internet speed using the optical fibers also increases to a large extent All right. So remember, three thousand crore rupees has been apply, uh, allocated just for the optical cable network, so that we can spread a network of optical fiber. Also remember, Union Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, uh, who is our Minister of Finance, has all was also presenting the Union Budget for twenty twenty three to twenty twenty two to twenty twenty three that enhanced the outlay for the scheme for the financial assistance to states for capital investment from. 10000 crore rupees for 2021 to 15000 crore rupees in the revised estimate also remember the allocation is 1 lakh crore rupees to assist the states in catalyzing the overall investment in the economy also remember this allocation this schemes will be used for pm gati shakti related products and investment all right and we know pm gati shakti portal is basically or pm gati shakti is basically to make india a place for ease of doing business all right so that we can easily do business you are also seeing that highways are being constructed all around india the reason is we are connecting each and every state easily so that even the most important cities such as mumbai gujarat delhi the ncr region of delhi all right these are all connected because we know these are the highly populated cities and these are one of the most important cities like hyderabad bangalore these should be connected and the rest part of india also should be connected so that the trade can become easy between these countries all right or be between these states not countries so remember space scheme for special assistance for state for capital investment for 2022 to 2023 was launched for which 50 year interest free loan will be provided for capital 
इन्वेस्टमेंट मूविंग ऑन टू सेकेंड न्यूज फ्रेंड्स विटामिन एंजल्स इंडिया पार्टनर विद यूनिसेफ फॉर पोषण माह 2022 ट्वेंटी टू टू कॉम्बैक द अंडर न्यूट्रिशन इन द कंट्री वॉट इज अंडर न्यूट्रिशन वी कैन से माल न्यूट्रिशन सो इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोवाइड बेटर न्यूट्रिशन टू द स्टूडेंट्स टू प्रोवाइड बेटर न्यूट्रिशन टू द पीपल ऑफ आर कंट्री हु आर नॉट एबल टू गेट द राइट अमाउंट ऑफ फूड ऑन डेली बेसिस देर आर अ लार्ज पॉपुलेशन इन आर कंट्री हु इज नॉट गेटिंग इवन अ टू डे मील टू टाइम्स मील इन अ कंट्री दे आर जस्ट सर्वाइविंग ऑन द वन डे मील इवन देर आर मैनी पीपल मैनी इंडिविजुअल्स हु डो नॉट हैव इवन इनफ मनी टू इवन फीड दैम सेल्फ और देर फैमिली जस्ट वन टाइम इन अ डे All right, this is the bad situation of our country. So, in order to provide such people with better nutrition, in order to provide them such people with the right amount of nutrition for the day that they require, Vitamin Angels India announced a partnership with UNICEF. All right, and it was for Rashtriya Poshan Maa 2022. Uh, and this Rashtra Poshan Maa 2022, this under this partnership, they will extend into the launch of a Poshan Innovation Platform (PIP). So, what you need to remember, Vitamin Angels India, they signed an M O U or are into a partnership with UNICEF for what? For Rashtra Poshan Maa for the year 2022. These together will be launching a portal that is your. Uh, they will be launching a platform that is PIP. You have to remember this. also portion innovation platform all right they will this will be launched in january 2023 with the aim to fight the under nutrition what is the basic aim here that we are talking about this aim of portion innovation portal that we just so that will be launched here is to develop continuous sandboxing of ideas mentoring by experts and seed funding by private sector we see in order to feed a large population of a country now we will be required funding we will be requiring large amount of money to feed those people and who is having the large amount of money with themselves it is your private sector private companies big mncs all right those people rich people are having a large amount of money and to do a proper set up because it will be have to follow a proper plan then only we will be able to execute such plans in a large area also the initiative calls for ideas for innovations around maternal infant and young children nutrition inventions from the across the country all right and also the aim here is to improve the nutritional status of mothers and children under the age of 5 years coming back so it was vitamin angels of india and unicef that partnered to launch rashtriya poshan maha 2022 and here only up into poshan innovation platform pip will also be launched all right highly important moving on friends to the next news that is india's first and world's third university of forestry to open in telangana first of all if telangana we are talking about if you remember telangana there was in hyderabad telangana technology hub 2.0 was launched so coming back recently telangana legislative assembly and council has approved the university of forestry act 2022 it will be the india's first and world's third forest university all right highly important i repeat it will be the india's first and world's third forestry university which is it it is the universe and where it is question will be asked the name tell me the name of the state where is it it will be in telangana all right in the world only russia and china have the forest universities and now the third forest university will be opened in india and it will be the india's first forest university and the another important thing you need to remember is the name of the countries first was russia second was china to have such forestry and now india will also have such forestry the forest and college uh, the forest college and research institute will be upgraded fcri the forest college and research institute will be upgraded as a university by the legislation to nurture it as a world class institution for forestry education research extension and outreach here remember 18 courses and 300 seats will be upgraded to this university of forestry that will be set up in hyderabad telangana 18 additional courses are phd courses diploma certificates nursery management agroforestry tribal livelihood enhancement all right park management climate smart forestry these all programs will be added here also remember here chandrashekhar rao ji the chief minister of telangana will be the chancellor of this university another important question that who will be the chancellor of this forest university the chief minister of telangana chandrashekhar rao ji will be the chief minister here then if we talk about the capital of telangana we know it is hyderabad so remember the india's first and world's third forestry university will be set up in 
India and in India too where this will be it will be in Telangana Hyderabad and who will be the chancellor K Chandrasekhar Rao who is the chief minister of Telangana will be the chancellor here and the con other countries as we saw it is the third in un third university in the world so Russia was the first second was China and now India will be the third country to have this world or forest university next square news friends Andhra Pradesh emerged as the India's top investment destination important mark this I repeat according to a report that was released by the Department of Promotion of Industries and Trade that is DPIIT Andhra Pradesh has emerged as the India's top investment destination direct and simple question friends that which is the India's or which state in India is the top investment destination as per DPIIT report it is your Andhra Pradesh during the period of January to July 2022 they saw a substantial share of investment worth 40361 crore rupees highly important mark this all right of india's total industrial investment andhra pradesh contributed to around 23.56% of the contribution all right that means if india we saw the total industrial investment in just andhra pradesh we saw around 1/4 of the investment then on second place it was your odisha that came with 36828 crore rupees with an emphasis on investment in renewable energy port based sectors andhra pradesh has designed 29 locations suitable for viable for renewable power projects all right also remember if i ask you which is the first state that is having the longest cost line it is your gujarat and on second position remember it is your andhra pradesh that is having the longest cost line in india all right also this is very beneficial for andhra pradesh because they have started the development of three additional ports and nine fishing harbors next so india's top investment destination for the year 2022 it is your andhra pradesh as per the report released by dpit and they saw an increase or they saw an investment of around 23.56 total investment of india next India will receive the first 100% ethanol electric uh, ethanol and electric car highly important India will receive their first flex fuel vehicle that is your FFV first FFV that is your flex fuel vehicle that can run on ethanol blended petrol and battery that means in both be it a electric car or an ethanol they will be working on both in the second week of october nitin gadkari union minister for road transport and highways will flag off the car this brazil based flex fuel strong hybrid electric car will be used as a model to assess their reduced carbon emissions and performance apart from this if you remember our double decker electric week bus was also launched can you tell me the location where was this just tell me the name of the state it is maharashtra where was this double decker electric bus was launched so now we will be seeing the first flex fuel vehicle or we can say the brazil based flex fuel strong hybrid electric vehicles will be used as a model so that new different types of electric or both as we know it is ethanol blended fuel will be used here that means two types of fuel will, will be used here ethanol fuel as well as your electric fuel will be used here electric fuel means electric energy will be used here all right so remember the first 100% ethanol and electric car landed in india at an event that was hosted by the sugar industry this ffv that is your flex fuel vehicle have engines that can operate on flexible fuel that is a combination of petrol and ethanol producing up to the 100% ethanol according to the sources the car will be able to you will be used for the research purpose and can run on 100% blended petrol and up to 100% on electric generated during the drive all right also remember only two indian wheeler vehicles have launched the flex vehicles as of now but now no four wheeler manufacturers have launched this flex fuel bikes also and if we are talking about electric uh, two wheeler electric bikes we are seeing various companies coming up such as ola electric mahindra is also trying to develop it so these are some of the com companies that are making your electric bike also and recently remember it was ola bikes only these ola electric bikes that were catching the huge amount of fires next next friends we will be talking about reeds and invits just a direct question remember that sebi has recently permit the reeds invits to issue commercial papers and we know what are these reeds and invits reeds are basically your a uh, real estate investment trust and invits is your invest uh, infrastructure investment trust we discussed about this what are these that if you want to purchase a large amount of 
real estate but you do not have the sufficient fund to purchase the whole real estate so what you will do is you will buy a chunk of that that means you will buy a part of that real estate and the amount invested in that particular part say for example uh, you want to buy a flat for 2 crore rupees but you just have 50 lakh rupees so you will buy the one fourth portion of that particular flat and the rest three fourth portion will be bought by some other investors so this is your REITs all right this is a new type of investment that is coming up in the market and people are encouraging this type of investment because they will are now able to purchase real estate with a small amount of money so what we are talking about here is that recently SEBI has permitted REITs and invests to issue the commercial paper subject to certain conditions all right next moving on next is world bank that was a direct question so remember it as per it next is world bank they have approved a 350 million dollar loan for gujarat's health sector i repeat it is your world bank headquarter of which is in can you tell me where is the headquarter of imf also these both organization world bank and imf they both have their headquarter in washington dc so world bank executive board of directors has approved 350 billion million dollar that is around 2832 crore rupees loan to gujarat to improve the quality and access of its public health care services with a special focus on adolescent girls and disease surveillance through the system reforms endeavor for transformed health achievement in gujarat and we know this is shrest g program we have seen this multiple times and shrest g here stands for in gujarat so what is the full form of shrest system reforms endeavors for transformed health achievement in gujarat and we know question can be asked that world bank approve a 350 million dollar loan for the healthcare sector in which state in gujarat and can be asked that it was launched for which program all right it was for shrest program that was approved this 350 million dollar loan all right also remember if in option like four options will be given in option it will won't be given world bank then what you will do then it will be given i b r d remember i b r d is also an arm of world bank only it is a department of uh, world bank only so i b r d stands for international bank of reconstruction development so either of the option can be given either world bank can be given or if ibrd is given so don't get confused it was a bank a branch of it is a branch of world bank only all right so this can also be given second thing you need to remember here is the stressed g program this program will enable people to access a wide range of high quality health services that will include reproduction newborn child maternal all right communicable and non-communicable disease will be treated here also this program will focus on improving the health and nutrition of adolescent girls and boys this will prioritize 14 districts where more than 70 percent of the adolescent girls are anemic all right mark this so this is your shrestha program that is related to the health sector healthcare sector and for this only remember world bank or you can say IBRD has approved a loan of 350 million dollars for Gujarat's healthcare department under Shrest program. Here you can see Shrest, this will enable people to access a wide range of high quality health services including reproductivity, maternal, newborn, adults and communicable and non-communicable disease. Moving on. Next news friends, it is Yuko Bank. Yuko Bank became the first lender to receive the RBI approval for rupee trade. Highly important. It is Yuko Bank. We just saw in questions also that which became the first bank or first lender to receive the RBI approval for rupee trade. It was your Yuko Bank. All right. Highly important. Gazprom Bank, a joint stock company for the settlement of transaction in Indian rupees. What is this? We are seeing this because what Gazprom, we will be talking to news about it. First is, it is a, we saw that Yuko Bank, that is a public sector lender, became the first bank to receive the approval from the RBI on a special Vostro account with Russian bank. What is this Vostro account? See, earlier what used to happen was, earlier the trade was done in US dollars. Let me give you an example of this. Earlier what used to happen was, uh, the traded amount was, uh, even if we want to purchase or if we want to do import or export, it was done in US dollar. That means we have to, we will be sending uh, money to a bank that will be buying US dollars. And then this particular bank will be going and sending the money to the export we are seeing. So for example, if we have India wanted to trade with Russia, 
what used to happen earlier was that we will be sending the money that india purchased oil from russia so for the payment what you used to do was india will send a money that will be converted into us dollar then this us dollar will again convert into ruble and then it will be sent to russia so indirectly we say we have to we, uh, provide an additional conversion charges at this particular bank so now what we are doing is we government of india stated that we want to trade in indian rupees only so we will be uh, setting up a vostro account what is vostro account vostro account is basically an account where in indian bank only this russian company will be coming and opening their account and there is another term that is nostro account nostro account is basically we indians are going to different countries bank and opening bank account there all right and vostro is that the company from russia from which we are buying oil will be coming and make opening their account in india only and when they want to purchase oil and when they are ask or if they want to purchase any product from india and they want to send us the payment now they won't have to convert it into us dollar they will be easily able to send that money in rupees to india itself through this vostro account so this is your vostro account all right that means if in order to execute the trade between two countries in terms of rupees itself this vostro accounts will be opened all right so we will eliminate this us uh, uh us dollar that we used to convert this conversion will be avoided as this conversion used to take additional amount also as a fees of both the side be it from indian to rupees and from uh, indian rupees to dollar and from dollar to ruble so and additional cost have to be paid by all the countries who were using this mode of payment all right this was known as swift and if you remember uh, russia was banned by us from the swift transactions because of the ongoing war that was started by russia on ukraine so these are some things that you need to remember and you need to understand what is vostro account vostro accounts are the basically account that different countries company will be opening in indian banks so that trade can take place in then rupees itself all right next this is important friends you need to understand this and for gasprom remember gasprom is the company this is gasprom's ma'am but we are talking about the gasprom gasprom is a company that stopped the supply of oil gas to european nations next next we are talking about hdfc life all right hdfc argo partnered with hdfc life to launch a click to protect optima secure to offer all round protection to your family what is this opti click to protect optima secure all right it is what it is a type of a health and life insurance so remember what is the main objective to launch this click to protect optima secure it is a comprehensive financial protection plan and offers the dual benefits of health and life insurance here remember under this insurance component customers can avail a sum of ranging from 5 lakh rupees to 2 crore rupees this will provide an uncomplicated financial planning for customers by offering the long term life insurance with a minimum sum of 50000 rupees this plan will also include an individual or if you want to include your family that will also be available to you then if we talk about hdfc life who is the md and ceo vibha padalkar ji is the md and ceo where is the headquarter it is in mumbai maharashtra and this was founded in 2000 so coming back what you need to remember it was your hdfc argo general insurance and hdfc life that together partner to launch this click to protect optima secure that is a health and life insurance product next next we are talking about cochin international airport limited won the airport service quality award for 2020 to i repeat which airport has won the airport service quality award for 2022 it is your cochin international airport and this award was instituted by airport council international all right this airport award was given by which organization airport council international provided or gave this award to cochin international airport limited for the airport service quality award 2022 highly important all right next next we are talking about sports or you can say hockey india all right dilip turki as you can see him in the picture he has been elected as the new president indian president all right highly important i repeat former indian captain and olympian dilip turki has been elected as the new president of hockey india he became the hockey india's first player president all right coming back who we are talking about dilip turki he appointed what he is the new 
president of hockey india bholanath has been elected unopposed as secretary general of hockey india all right next next is chief justice munshifar nath bhandari ji has been appointed as the chairperson of pmla appellate tribunal i repeat chief justice of madras high court justice munshifar nath bhandari ji appointed as the chairman of the appellate tribunal under the prevention of the money laundering act He was appointed by the President of India for a period of four years, or till attaining the age of seventy, or until further orders. Next, NPCI National Payment Corporation of India has reappointed Dilip S. B. as their MD and CEO for another five years. Highly important. That means his term period will now end in the year twenty twenty eight. That is from eighth of January twenty twenty three to seventh of January twenty twenty eight. Who has been reappointed as the MD and CEO of? npci for 5 years dilip sbg next next is dr rajiv bhel dr rajiv bhel has been appointed as the new director general of icmr and what is icmr indian council of medical research i repeat dr rajiv bhel has been appointed as the new director general of icmr and secretary of the department of health research for a period of 3 years so two things you need to remember here that who has been appointed as the new director general of icmr he is Dr Rajiv Bell and for how many periods he has been appointed for 3 years he has been appointed to this post all right then who he will be replacing as the new director general he will be replacing Dr Balram he will be replacing Dr Balram Bhargava i repeat mark this he will be replacing Dr Balram Bhargava all right and here so who is the former now who is the former director general of icmr dr balram bhargava and who will be the new director general dr rajiv bell next next is israel navy test fires a gabriel 5 an anti ship missile from the sar 6 corvette i repeat question can be asked that a anti ship missile was tested by israel navy what was the name of that missile gabriel 5 or indirectly question can be asked that gabriel 5 is a anti ship missile that was tested by which country it was tested by israel all right and as the name suggests 5 it is the fifth generation of the anti ship missiles that was developed by israeli aerospace industries it is a surface to surface missile also known as blue spear all right highly important mark this next next is government has launched indian sign languages as you have seen uh, on uh, any foreign television or any foreign country's debate or important news then you will be able to see in the corner there will be an any individual person who will be using sign languages to communicate why these sign languages are used in order to help those who are deaf those people who cannot hear properly with the use of these sign languages communication is provided to them the news is provided to them all right so remember the government of india has launched indian sign language uh isl directory a mobile app that was named sign learn sign learn this was the name of the application that was launched that contains more than 1000 words this is based on the dictionary of indian sign language research and training center also remember this application sign learn was launched by union minister of state for social justice and empowerment pratima bhumik ji also this was launched during an event that is sign language day that is observed on 23rd of september that was launched in new delhi also remember this application is available on android as well as ios phone that is your apple version of the phones and the words in the app can be searched in hindi or english medium both so that means it supports your both the languages all right also remember recently the ISLRT that is your Indian Sign Language Research and Training Center has signed a memorandum of understanding with NCERT also to change the NCERT textbooks from class 1 to 12th into Indian Sign Language in the digital format to make the textbooks available to the children with the hearing disabilities all right moving on next is smart limbs as you can see in the picture recently isro has developed a 1.6 kg microprocessor controlled knee as you can see in the picture the person he can use this as a smart knee it is a smart leg so what is this let's talk about it this 1.6 kg microprocessor controlled knee that is an intelligent artificial limb this was developed by isro which will benefit above knee amputees to walk with a comfortable leg this mpk that is your 
माइक्रो प्रोसेसर कंट्रोल नीज विल ऑफर एक्सटेंडेड कैपेबिलिटीज फॉर द एम्प्यूटीज दैट दोज ऑफर्ड बाय द पैसिव लेंथ दैट डू नॉट यूज द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एम्प्यूटीज आर बेसिकली द पर्सन हु हैव लॉस्ट देयर लेग ऑल राइट टू इन ऑर्डर टू हेल्प दम एज यू कैन सी दिस विल एक्ट एज अ सपोर्ट इट विल एक्ट एज अ लेग फॉर द इंडिविजुअल्स हु हैव लॉस्ट देयर लेग एंड इट विल एक्ट एज अ रिप्लेसमेंट फॉर दोज पीपल ऑल राइट एंड दिस वॉज लॉन्च बाय होम इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय इसरो नेक्स्ट न्यूज नेक्स्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ बुक रिसेंटली रिमेंबर सबका साथ सबका विकास सबका विश्वास दिस इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ द स्पीच रिलेटेड टू प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी दिस वॉज कंपाइल्ड इन अ बुक एंड इट वॉज अनवेल्ड बाय आर फॉर्मर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया एम वेंकैया नायडू जी आई रिपीट द फॉर्मर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया एम वेंकैया नायडू अनवेल्ड द बुक टाइटल सबका साथ सबका विकास सबका विश्वास दिस इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ द स्पीचेज ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी All right, and this was unveiled by whom? It was unveiled by Prime Minister, uh, former President, Vice President of India, M. Venkaiya Naidu ji. This book is a compilation of 86 speeches in the 10 chapters of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. That is from 2019 to 2020. Next, next is remember. Next, we are talking about a state news. That is, Hamar Beti Hamar Man. All right, this scheme was launched by whom? As the name suggests, Hamar Beti Hamar Man. This was a scheme that was launched by the chief minister of chatisgarh all right bhupesh baghel ji as the name suggests hamar beti hamar man in english it will be translated to our daughter our pride campaign it was for the women safety and the empowerment in their society i repeat for the women safety and the women empowerment in the society this scheme was launched hamar beti hamar man or you can say our daughter our pride campaign under this campaign girls will be educated about various necessary subjects they about their legal rights about their fundamental rights all right about good touch bad touch about sexual crimes also they will be educated all right also remember chatisgarh state women officers and employees of the chatisgarh police will communicate guide and teach the girls in the schools and colleges about their legal rights about the cyber crime that is going on about how to protect themselves from the social media crimes and the rights also the women in educational institutes of chatisgarh will be trained regarding the usage of application developed specially for women safety and in order to use such applications in order to be technologically sound they need to have the information about the digital world also like if they are using an application if they have to use an application in the say emergency so they should also be equipped with how to use a mobile phone all right because then only they will be able to use that particular application that is on their mobile phone so coming back this hamar beti hamar man campaign was for launched by whom it was launched by the chief minister of chatisgarh bhupesh baghel ji all right नेक्स्ट न्यूज तमिलनाडु गवर्नमेंट लॉन्च सीएम डैशबोर्ड मॉनिटरिंग सिस्टम सीएम डैशबोर्ड तमिलनाडु 360 तमिलनाडु चीफ मिनिस्टर आल्सो लॉन्च मीदम मंज पाई अ स्कीम टू प्रमोट द यूसेज ऑफ क्लॉथ पैक्स गवर्नमेंट हैज सेट अप टू सब कमिटीज अंडर पीएम एफबीवाई टू लोअर क्रॉप इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम गुजरात टॉप द गुड गवर्नेंस इंडेक्स फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी एंड नीति आयोग रिलीज फोर स्टेट हेल्थ इंडेक्स एंड विच द केरला हैज That's all for the day, friends. Now let's go for a quick revision. Sp scheme for special assistance to states for capital investment 2022 to 2023 was launched. Vitamin Angels India partnered with UNICEF for Rashtriya Poshan Maa 2022 to combat undernutrition in India. India's first and world's third university of forestry to open in Hyderabad, Telangana. DPPIT reports list that. Andhra Pradesh emerged as the India's top investment destination between Jan to July 2022. India to receive first 100% ethanol and electric car. SEBI permitted RITS and invites to issue commercial papers. World Bank approved 350 million dollar loan for Gujarat's healthcare sector. Yuko Bank became the first lender to receive the RBI approval for rupee trade. HDFC Argo has partnered with HDFC Life to launch Click to Protect Optima Secure to offer all-round protection. Cochin International Airport Limited won the Airport Service Quality Award for 2022. Dilip Turki has been elected as the new Hockey Indian President. Chief Justice Munshiwar Nath Bhandari has been appointed as the Chairman of PMLA Appellate Tribunal. NPCI has reappointed Dilip Esbe as the MD and CEO for another five years. That is till the year 2028. Dr. Rajiv Hal appointed as the new Director General of ICMR. Israel Navy tested a Gabriel tested fired Gabriel 5 anti ship missile from the SAR 6 corvette this is the name of the ship from which it was tested and this Gabriel 5 is the name of the anti ship missile that was tested by Israel Navy 
then isl mobile app sign learn was launched by the government of india that contains around 100000 words uh, 1000 words sign for the words that can be used to help the deaf people then isro developed a microprocessor controlled smart limb shri m venkaiah naidu sir who is the former vice president of india launched a book that was sabka saath sabka vikas sabka vishwas that is a collection of the speeches of prime minister narendra modi former vice president m venkaiah naidu released a book about the collection of selected speeches of prime minister we just saw this then chatisgarh chief minister bhupesh baghel has announced hamar beti hamar maan a scheme for women safety and empowerment in the state of chatisgarh so that's all for the day friends now it's time for your homework a 21 year old farmstead was recently discovered in which country which is the nodal agency of ayushman bharat digital mission third the ministry of defense signed a contract with which company for the supply of astra mark 1 air to air missile fourth on which day is the world milk day observed every year fifth libreville is the capital of which city recently visited by the vice president of india just tell me libreville is the capital of which country which city all right so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day no cheating while commenting the answers all right do your own research that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue